We shall be invisible and silent as the grave. You will now see a child, a youth. You will see yourself, Ebenezer. The air is so clean. How different from the city. Do you know where you are? <laughs> of course. I, I was bred here. I was a boy in this place. That's Daniel Custis. <laughs> Robert Estes. Hello, Daniel. The big one there, that's David. Tyler, David! Look here, it's Ebenezer! I told you, Ebenezer, they can't hear you. How happy they all seem. That's right, they do. Yes, well, it's time to move on. Come along, Ebenezer. You know the way. I could walk it blindfolded. Your school. I remember. And it's Christmas Day. There's a boy in there. Neglected. The boy is deserted by his friends and his family. His mother is dead. His father holds him a grudge. Why does his father hold him a grudge? She died in childbirth. His birth. Weep for the boy if the tears will come. He has his friends, even on this day. From his beloved books. His Alibaba. <laughs> Dear old honest Alibaba. And the Sultan's groom turned upside down with the genie. But not a real child to talk to. Not a living person. Robinson Crusoe, not real. <laughs> and Friday, and the parrot with green body and yellow tail, not real. He may do this boy. Let us see another Christmas day. When you were a youth. Fair. to ask once more if you might come home. And he said, yes, you should, and sent me in a coach to bring you. You're quite a woman, little fan. And you, you are to be a man now, and never come back here. Come along, we mustn't keep Father waiting. There, boy, there. Stand still now. I mean, look at you. They haven't been overfeeding you, that's certain. I've, I've grown, I think. Yes, most boys do. Fan has told you you won't be moving back here. Yes, sir. It's time you made your way in the world. I've arranged an apprenticeship for you. You'll move into Mr. Fezziwig's establishment in three days' time. Three days, Father? I'd hoped we'd have my brother home for longer. Longer? Three days is quite long enough for both of us. Don't you think, Ebenezer? Yes, sir. Quite long enough. You finished back there? All safe and secure, sir. The carriage, fan. We're on our way. Into the carriage, boy. Fan pleaded for more time, but my father was very stern man. Fan. She died a young woman. She had such a generous nature. Yes, too young. Old enough to bear a child. Mm, one son. Fred, your nephew. And Fred Hollowell, yes. Who bears a strong resemblance to your sister. Does he? <laughs> I never noticed. You never noticed? I'm beginning to think you've gone through life with your eyes closed. Open them. 
Open them wide. You know this man? It's old Fezziwig. Hmm? Oh, yes, my dear. Would you ask uh, Mr. Pudding to refer that matter to Mr. Scrooge? Eh? Uh, thank you, my dear. And you know this place? No, it was I not apprenticed here. <laughs> Pay attention, everybody. Dick, Ebenezer, pens down. No more work tonight, boys. It is Christmas Eve. <laughs> so, close those ledgers down, Ebenezer and Dick. Clear away in here, everybody. We need the room. Uh, here we go, lad. Hat. You'll enjoy yourself tonight, Master Ebenezer. That is an order. <laughs> yes, sir, I'll try. You won't put your heart in it. You put enough of yourself into your work, and I have nothing but praise for the way you've discharged your duties. But you're young, eh? There's more to life than uh, bolts of cloth and musty old ledgers, eh? <laughs> oh, oh, it's Mrs. Fezziwick and the three daughters and their suitors. Happy Christmas to you all. Bill, I've forgotten how beautiful she was. Hello, Belle. Music, Hello. Would you like to dance? Yes. you danced, Ebenezer? A waste of time, dancing. You didn't think so then? There was a reason then. There's been a change in you since you'll come to Fezziwigs. You were so gloomy. Oh, I think I should warn you, Miss Bell. I am of a serious bent of mind. I consider seriousness to be an admirable trait of character, but it can be overdone. I should take heed of your advice, ma'am, and go through life with a grin on my face. Sample the punch when you're old and fat like me, eh? Oh, I'd best partner my wife before that young scamp goes dancing off with her. Oh. <laughs> what a difference it makes, Ebenezer, to travel the rough road of life with the right female to help bear the burden, eh? <laughs> what a lucky man I am! <laughs> Shall we join the others, Ebenezer? My pleasure, Miss Bell. <laughs> Old Fezziwig, a silly man. Silly? Why, why silly? What did he do, after all, to deserve the praises of those apprentices? Spent a few pounds, danced like a monkey, beamed a great smile. Well, the happiness he gave, I gave was quite as great as though it had cost a thousand pounds. Just small things. Are you in love, Ebenezer? Hmm. The thought had occurred to me. She's too good for you. One day, when I've made my fortune, then I'll deserve her. It was a night never to be forgotten.